Hello guys, my name is Krish Naik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, finally we have developed our end-to-end -end project. Now what we are going to do is that we're going to deploy our project unless and until we don't deploy it. Trust me, in the interviews, right, when you talk about the project, when you talk about CI CD pipelines, when you talk about what are code pipelines, how what all deployment techniques you have specifically used. So what I'm actually going to do is that going forward, we will be discussing about different, different deployment techniques. In this video, we are going to see how we can probably deploy our entire application into AWS Beanstalk, Elastic Beanstalk. And over there also, I'll be using some code pipelines also. And again, uh, first we'll go with the easiest one and then we'll probably catch up the most difficult one, you know. And I'm also going to make sure that I use multiple cloud platforms so that you get extensive knowledge regarding this, okay. And uh, yes, uh, if you're happy with this particular series, please make sure that you subscribe the channel, share with all the friends, share these videos with all the friends. Trust me, guys, these are something very important that can actually help you crack interviews, right? So uh, let me go ahead and let me just see over here, first of all, what all configuration changes we really need to make. So already we have discussed about creating our prediction pipeline. Everything is working fine. We have deployed the code. Now here, if I probably talk about two important configuration we need to set up whenever we are working with uh, Elastic uh, Beanstalk, you know, which is a kind of uh, instance that will be provided to you where you can probably deploy your entire application. So that extension is that dot eb extension so i have created this over here and inside this i have created one python config file the python config file is mainly to tell to the elastic beanstalk uh, instance saying that what is the entry point of your application right that is the most important thing that what is the entry point of your application now over here by default uh, when i was searching in the elastic uh, uh, beanstalk uh, documentation page they had given this kind of configuration for that, right? So it was option setting AWS Elastic Beanstalk container that we are going to use is Python. Uh, this is specifically for container as Python. If you are using Docker for that, there is a different process. Right now we are not into Docker. Docker will discuss as we go ahead, right? Now here, and I'm, this is the most easiest technique of deployment, right? So uh, over here you have WSGI path with application. Now this application should be your app.py name, okay? the the entry point of the file and inside this that is the reason i updated the code to application right and it is compulsory that inside this py, uh, python.config you give in this format only that is application colon application but the problem over here is that i don't have an application.py file right so what i will do the same application.py code i will copy it and i will create a file over here just for my deployment purpose which is application.py right and I will paste it over here, same thing, okay? So this is what we are doing and I'll also be removing this debug is equal to true because uh, while we are deploying, we have to always make sure that we remove that. Now, these are just the two settings that is probably required to do the deployment, okay? Now, how do you go ahead? So first of all, we'll go ahead and git commit this entire code. So let me quickly see this and write git commit uh, dot, okay? So two things have been added. One is .eb extension and whatever file is present inside that. And one is application.py. So uh, after this, what I will write, I will write git commit, okay, minus m. And this will be deployment configuration that we are basically writing, okay. So deployment configuration, okay. So here it is. Uh, so your branch is up to date, uh, committing is done git commit file untracked files okay first of all did i add it or not git commit okay so let me just clear the screen i think i have to i have used git commit dot, so i'll add git add dot okay and now if i probably see my git status so these are the new files that are basically getting added now we will go ahead and do the git commit so here i will write git commit minus m and this will basically be my deployment configuration right so this is the deployment configuration for aws done so this is done now the next thing that what i'm going to do clear the screen okay cls clear the screen and uh, one final thing that i really want to do about is that i'll try to push this code minus u uh, minus u from origin to main so once i push this code you'll be seeing that my entire code will go over here uh, if I probably try to see my repositories, okay, 
and this is the ml project repositories now you'll be able to see this extension file has got created okay now this is just the requirement and inside this i think uh, python config has also been created so yes uh, it has been completed now the next step what we'll do we'll try to deploy this now please make sure that you follow this step by step now first of all you need to have an aws uh, amazon account or aws uh, console account uh, so that uh, and obviously for this uh, credit card is required the first thing that you will be doing is that just go ahead and search for elastic beanstalk okay so here you can see elastic beanstalk it is nothing but it is run and manage web apps so inside this i will just go and click on applications and these are the application that has been created uh what i will do is that i will go ahead and create the application over here so i will just go back and i'll create the application now let me just give you one example what exactly we are going to do okay with respect to the deployment and i hope uh, nobody has actually taught you with respect to writing also on the deployment part okay so with respect to this deployment you know as i said we will be using elastic beanstalk now this is my elastic beanstalk okay elastic beanstalk now what exactly this is this is just like a server or a cloud environment of some instance right instance basically means this can be a linux machine right and this will specifically be a linux machine now here you can probably create an environment you can deploy your code okay and this is basically present in the aws okay the next thing that is there is basically your github repository right now my code is basically there in the github repository right the only thing that is this elastic beanstalk requires is the configuration that is there right so configuration you have actually set it up with that extension file and you have created that python.config file right so this too has been created over here now with respect to uh, the deployment part uh, over here you already have the github repository in the github repository you have the code right and this configuration has already been made over here in the github repository now if i want to do the deployment see over here requirement.txt everything will be there if i want to probably do the deployment from here to here right i have to definitely create something right my code should be able to go with respect to this any changes whenever in github repository it is happening right so this specific thing we basically talk about uh, we in order to create this pipeline right we can use an amazing thing which is present in aws itself which is called as code pipeline now what this code pipeline is going to do is that whatever code is over here it is going to basically uh, commit or deploy it automatically as soon as you click a button inside this elastic beanstalk which is just like a linux machine right uh, so in the github repository you have the code whenever there is any code changes automatically one uh, button will get created do you want to deploy this code so once you probably click it you will probably deploy the code in the aws beanstalk elastic beanstalk and then that deployment will get completed so this pipeline that you see is basically uh, it's a kind of a pipeline and this pipeline we say it as continuous delivery pipeline okay continuous delivery pipeline right now this is the pipeline that we are also going to create it over here so two thing first step we will go ahead and create my uh, elastic beanstalk instance which can be a linux machine here we'll also create an environment right and uh, do the setup next thing that we are going to do is that we are going to basically create our code pipeline now through this code pipeline we'll integrate with our github repository and then we will continue this deployment over here into the elastic beanstalk so this is the process that we are basically going to follow now over here first of all we'll go ahead and create the application application name can be anything uh, i can basically write student performance right student performance done oops i will just write student performance so this is the uh, application name that i'm going to create over here by default you'll be getting a platform don't don't put any values in key value pair so in the platform i will go ahead and select uh, python and here by default python 3.8 is basically there and obviously i've i've, I've actually develop my entire application in python 3.8 okay now here you have two option one is sample application and one is upload your code in upload your code you can probably upload a zip file from your local or if there is a s3 bucket you can probably put it okay but right now i'll just go and go ahead with sample application because i need to integrate with my github repository that is present over here right so uh, i will go ahead and uh, create the application now 
as soon as i create the application it will uh, automatically create one environment also see creating an environment by default uh, environment is basically getting created and it will probably take some time okay so till this setup is done see now we have done this particular part right it is a linux machine we got and this particular uh, machine is getting set up and environment will also get created now we have to go and focus on creating a code pipeline and integrating with the github repository so for that i will just open aws again okay and here i have to just search for something called as code pipeline now code pipeline is nothing but release software using continuous delivery as i said it is for continuous delivery i'm still not focusing on continuous integration that ci cd pipeline we say right we are just right now focusing on cd pipelines later on we'll go and see different techniques with respect to how to create your ci ci pipelines the cd pipelines will automatically create a ci ci pipeline also okay so uh, i will go ahead and click on code pipelines so code pipelines once it opens it looks something like this okay and i will go and uh, probably create a pipeline okay create a new pipeline now let me go ahead and probably write the pipeline name so the pipeline name over here i can basically give student performance okay same thing and uh, then uh, over here you have advanced settings don't do anything for the advanced settings just go ahead and click new here you have a source provider now as i said we want to integrate code pipeline with github repository instead of this github some companies may be using gitlab they may be using some other repositories like tfs and all right so here we need to integrate with that right it can be amazon s3 also but here i'm going to just write github version 1 okay now it will ask me to connect to the github so my local github whatever it is i'll allow it to authorize so i'll just go ahead and confirm it okay and this is confirmed now after this uh, i will go and select my repository now what is my repository name over here if you see ml project right so i will go ahead and write ml project so this is just to connect with my github right and branch will be main now uh, get this github webhooks will be already there we don't have to change this to code pipeline uh, later on, I'll also show you how we can do with AWS code pipeline. But here, by default, AWS code pipeline is only going on. Okay. Next, we click on next over here. There is something called as build provider. Let's say you want to build your project before uh, for creating artifacts and all, right? So for doing that, any steps. If you want to do that, you can probably use build provider. But over here, uh, here you have two options. One is code build and Jenkins. Right now, I'm going to skip this stage. Later on, we'll also try to keep this. Okay. So here it says that your pipeline will not include a build stage. It's fine. Skip it. Now the deploy provider is super important. Now what is this deploy provider? Where I want to deploy from my code pipelines, right? I want to deploy from my code pipelines to AWS Binstock, right? Now this is the step, right? I'm basically doing the configuration. Now this code pipeline needs to deploy in the Elastic Binstock, right? So that is the reason we have selected this. What is the application name? Here we have created student performance. What is the environment with respect to that student performance environment? And then next, uh, we'll just go and see whether this environment has got created or not. Uh, you need to wait till, till this entire environment is basically created. Okay. Now, in just to understand in the Elastic Beanstalk, if you probably see in the application, your student performance is ready. And that is the reason now we can go ahead and deploy it. So once I click on next, now this is your entire pipeline setting. This diagram that I had drawn, right? It is basically talking about that same thing. Okay. Over here. You have your pipeline settings, you have your action provider. Action provider basically means where is your source, right? Adding the source. This is the pipeline setting with respect to all the default information about your uh, Elastic uh, Beanstalk. Then when, sorry, not Elastic Beanstalk, your pipeline name and all. And then finally here we have skipped this build action. But finally we are going to deploy this in AWS Beanstalk. That is what we are able to see. Now as soon as I create, click on create pipeline, this will probably take some time to get created. And once the pipeline is basically getting created, right? Now, now you'll be able to see that step by step, everything. As I said, my GitHub will get connected to code pipeline. So that is where this is getting connected now. My code pipeline and GitHub will get connected. And then we'll try to deploy that in the AWS Beanstalk. So that is what this diagram actually says, right? You can probably see this diagram, right? And this is a very important diagram altogether. Now it shows that the deployment has failed. Let me go ahead and check what is the problem with the deployment. Okay. So guys, we were getting some error, but now we have, I have fixed that, you know, again, I saw the documentation page and all that app.py file was there, right? I have deleted that file and just by deleting that file, right? AWS uh, cloud, uh, they were actually able to deploy this. Okay. In the beanstalk. 
and i think uh, the main reason is that see in the configuration right we have written application.py but if they see app app.py probably they find some release problem so please make sure that you delete the app.py and instead just keep application.py which has the same code okay now you can see the deployment is done i will just go to probably the link so just click on this particular link and here you go to the environment and this is the url that you will be able to see so once i click this url now you are in the home page you can see that i'm home my home page is running and finally i can just write predict data to just see that how everything is working so guys finally we have deployed our application into the aws uh, cloud that is an elastic beanstalk uh, again you can probably do the prediction you can probably use it this is just one way of doing the deployment still there are a lot of ways because we also need to discuss about the ci pipeline we have completed about C cd pipeline right the code pipeline itself now probably if you go and see in my github right this entire build what is basically happening everything will be you will be able to see it okay so if i probably go and see in the repositories right if i go into the ml project the same repository that i have given you okay so here are all my files okay and uh, pull request is also there you can see okay this pull request is fine issues is fine action if i see with respect to action uh okay nothing has happened over here because since we have not again created the ci pipeline we have just created the cd pipeline based on this configuration now as soon as we create a ci pipeline what will happen you'll be able to see everything in this actions itself right as soon as i push it and we'll be able to do the deployment now let's say that i just make one simple changes right let's say in this requirement.txt i will just go ahead and add one simple library the library can be or i'm just added one extra space right and i'm committing it okay now automatically when soon as i commit it now you see over here it will ask for the release change now see again that update it is being able to understand right the source for with respect to the github now if i go ahead and do the release chain the deployment will automatically happen and over here the from the source then again the deployment will happen with respect to all the new code that is happened now obviously i have not added such so huge changes where i have just added one extra blank so uh, with respect to that that changes only i'm deploying it again now it is in the deployment phase and it will the it will get automatically deployed so i hope you understood how to do the deployment with respect to aws beanstalk so yes this was it uh, i will see you all in the next video where we will mostly discuss about uh, ci cd pipelines and all right so yes, this was about the end-to-end -end project. I hope you like this particular video. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, share with all the friends. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you. Take care. Have a great day.